Right, so if you are a videographer or a filmmaker and you want a budget-friendly way to transmit video wirelessly for say like a director's monitor, a gaffer or a focus puller, then you want to stick around to learn more about the Axoon Cineview SC. And honestly, my favorite thing about this is... So the Cineview SE is the perfect product for videographers and filmmakers, but also gaffers, soundies, and small business owners as well. And let me show you why. So the Axoon Cineview SE is a dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless video transmitter, which allows us to get much more stable and high quality video feeds even when transmitting at a long distance. And this is because the dual band can automatically switch between 2.4G and 5G, depending on which will provide the best signal quality to completely remove things like uh, black screens and dropouts. Now latency is a huge thing for filmmakers, especially for those wanting to use a wireless video transmitter to pull focus from a camera that is at a distance. Now typically focus pullers will want the latency as close to zero milliseconds as possible to be able to do their job properly and to make sure that everything stays sharp throughout the entire shot. Now Axoon claims that this transmitter is 50 milliseconds, which is one of the lowest speeds I've seen on all of the budget wireless transmitters on the market to date, but how well does it actually perform in real world tests? Now if you have used a zero latency system before, then if you're moving from that to this, you will notice the delay instantly. However, I'd say it's on par, if not just slightly better than other budget wireless transmitters on the market. The delay is about three to four frames, shooting at 25 frames a second. Now personally, I would be happy to use this to pull focus in a slow moving scenes, but anything that involves like running or subjects moving constantly, like back and forth over and over again, you'll find that you might struggle with this a little bit just because of that little delay. Now where this transmitter stands out from the crowd is if you're wanting to set up a feed for say like a first AC, a director, and maybe like a gaffer and a soundy, and then also maybe like, say if you have like a client on board and they wanted a feed as well. The fact that the Cineview SE can transmit that dual band signal to up to four different devices, which can include basically any four Cineview receivers. And honestly, that is one of the standout features for this thing. And while I'll be using this a lot more in my productions. So basically what this means is that like, if I own the Cineview SE and my mate owns the Cineview Quad, then basically he can bring his receiver to set and we can basically send the signal for this to my Cineview SE receiver, but also to his Cineview quad receiver as well. And we can have two main systems set up for people to view that feed on. And then again, if someone else on the team owns like a HE, they can bring their receiver as well. We can set up a third one, which is super duper cool. Plus in total, this can transmit to up to four devices, which include iOS and Android devices as well. Now I recently used these on a mate's short film to actually test it out. And honestly, I was really impressed by this. We have basically no issues in terms of like dropouts or blackouts. I guess that's because of the, uh, the 2.4 and the 5 G dual band system uh, and allowed me to basically transmit to my phone and as the gaffer I could you know see what was happening live so I asked my mate who was the DP to set up the shot and then I would basically have my feed and I could just walk around and set up everything and then once I'm ready I'm like yep we're good to go and then even like during the shot and stuff like if we had to kind of like quickly change something so I, I could just take the feed with me I didn't have to kind of like communicate with him and be like is this working is this hitting the talent blah blah, blah. like it's just it makes working on set so much more efficient when you can see exactly what the actual camera is seeing now size and weight can be a big deciding factor as to what system you'll choose and it's often better to go with something that is smaller and more light without sacrificing image quality or range. So the Cineview SE weighs only 210 grams per unit and you can fit it basically in the palm of your hand, obviously like the antennas are on top as well, but it takes up basically little to no space on your camera setup. And also because it's not so heavy, it doesn't unbalance the camera as much as say like a bigger transmitter. Now adding an MPF battery onto the back of this to power it will obviously add some extra weight, but thankfully Axoon has allowed us to be able to power this via MPF batteries, but also via a DC 7.4 to 16.8 volt input as well. So, oh, and you can also go via five volt uh, USB-C in and out as well, which is super cool. And I love when these brands give us so many different options to be able to power their devices because like, Everyone has their different kind of ways of powering stuff. I like powering stuff through DC, but I know a lot of people that just shoot with like, you know, DSLRs and stuff might like using power banks and just running power via USB-C. And on my camera setup, I have a power distribution plate that has four uh, DC outputs at different powers, which is perfect for powering a whole camera. And then essentially you just kind of like find the output that matches what you have on here. Now this unit isn't just designed for smaller mirrorless cameras since Axoon has given us both HDMI and SDI connectors as well, making it great for professional cinema cameras as well, like say the, the Red Komodo, the C70, and the FX6. But now what if for say your camera only has a HDMI out and the monitor you're using only has an SDI in? Thankfully, Axon has also thought about this and basically it automatically converts the signal seamlessly between HDMI and SDI 
so it doesn't matter what input or output you use, it'll still work flawlessly. Now actually using the device itself couldn't be easier, especially if you have never used a wireless transmitter before. With a 1.3 inch OLED display and an intuitive interface, even like first time assistants could get this set up and ready to go with ease. Now I particularly love this little grouping dial on the side, which basically allows us to choose up to 16 individual groups for wireless transmitting to avoid signal breakups and dropouts. Now Axon also claims that the Cineview SE has no noise at all. And they're not joking, like this is on now. And like the, there's nowhere for the noise to come from. There's no fans, there's no heat sinks, there's nothing. So I don't know exactly how they're doing that without, you know, producing a ton of heat and trying to get rid of it, but that is super cool. Now using these at an event where the transmitter and the receiver are a fair distance apart is no longer an issue with a 1200 foot transmitter range and little to no degradation in terms of signal quality, even when transmitting through solid walls. Now keep in mind when you are transmitting through solid walls, you're not gonna get that full 1200 foot range. That is for line of sight only. The Accident Go app has some really powerful features and can work as a standalone receiver if you just wanna to stick to a tight budget and only buy say like the transmitter. I actually use the app all the time when I'm gaffing. So basically I can offload my main receiver to like a director's monitor or a first AC, but having the app still allows me to obviously monitor what the frame looks like and make adjustments with the lighting live while actually viewing a camera feed. And honestly, this speeds up the process of setting up shots so much because I don't have to keep walking back and forth to the camera to see if the, you know, the tweak that I've made has made a difference or not. I can just see it live as I'm actually adjusting the light. And honestly, like my, the team thanks you so much because it allows you to you know finish earlier or allows more times to get the shots and everyone just loves it. Plus, if you're just wanting to wow your clients by allowing them to see exactly what is being shot live, the Accent Go app is an easy and budget option to get a wireless feed set up instantly without any additional investments in monitors and batteries since everyone has a smartphone. And this is why it's also great for soundies and gaffers and small business owners as well, because it provides basically like the lowest cost to set up a wireless transmitter for any type of video, whether that be for video production or needing to like, you know, transmit a presentation to a projector that's at the other end of a room for a conference. As for price, the Axon Cineview SE goes for 649 US dollars for the transmitter receiver pack. So that is both of these. $359 for the uh, receiver only, and then $329 for the transmitter only. And this is great because it means that, you know, if you're wanting to transmit to two to three, four devices constantly, you can just buy extra receivers and build out a kit rather than having to buy like basically like both of these and then just not using the transmitters for all the other ones. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this look at the Cineview SE, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna find out any more about this product, I'll leave it links down below. Otherwise, stay creative and just be you. Have fun.